this game is called Book Chat. So I'm going to be hosting a late night highbrow book discussion program, okay? Eddie is going to be my author, right? Chris, is you know that little person in the corner who screams as a sign language? <laughs> Chris, Chris is going to do that, but the, the proper sign language person is ragging sick and Chris doesn't know sign language, so... Uh, so what we need... <laughs> We need a made-up book title, one that doesn't exist. So we've had stuff in the past like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Shame and stuff like that. So uh, you can you can have a spin off or something like that. What was that? If he doesn't know sign language, then maybe fuck off this made title. Could be, yeah. If he knows the title, Epstein's willing participants. That's the book around here. Fifty Shades of Jewels. <laughs> that, that might actually exist, I'm being honest. Uh, so we've got Epstein's, yeah, Fifty Shades of Jewels. Any others? Men and Dishwashers. Men and Dishwashers. <laughs> Do you know what? I like Men and Dishwashers. Let's, uh, let's go with Men and Dishwashers. <laughs> it was only plain one, really. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Book Chat, where I talk to a novel about his her, their latest novel. And joining me tonight is Professor Wigglebottom. <laughs> <laughs> now, Professor Wigglebottom, you've got, a, you've got a new book out. Would you like to share the title with our lovely studio audience? Yes, the title of my latest book is Men and Dishwashers. <laughs> Men and Dishwashers. <laughs> yes, it's a partial history yes. and a partial memoir. So it's a history of memoir. I talk about the historical aspect of the dishwasher. Yes. And how the dishwasher relates to me and my life. Oh, yes. Sounds enchanting. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But it's, it's been something I've been interested in for a long time. I remember. Because uh, I remember <laughs> the beginning. He's got to try it. At the beginning, I'm really rather old, but I, I remember a time <laughs> before dishwashers. <laughs> and what what was it called before the dishwasher? It was just just a sink <laughs> or, or a stream. I do remember them. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So um, you know what? Uh, some other things in the pipeline about this. I mean, the rumor has it there's a motion picture in the pipeline. Yes, as I understand it, um, it's going to be Gary Oldman playing me. Gary Oldman is playing <laughs> Professor Wigglebottom. Yes, uh, and, I, and I thought if there was ever someone who could Wigglebottom like me, yes. <laughs> It would be Gary Oldman, so I'm very, very happy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And who man has a James Corden went for the part, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> James Corden did audition. <laughs> but he was kicked squarely in the bollocks for being a prick. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, oh, thank you, are we friends? And everyone said, no. Yes, that's Corden. Yes. Um, <laughs> now, you brought your book with you, haven't you? I have brought you a great deal of the audience a chat with the No, please, no, no, of course I will, yes. Okay, do we sit the scene, Norris? This is about my first ever encounter with a dishwasher. At the age of eight, I remember rushing down the stairs with excitement. <laughs> Has it come? Has it come? I said. <laughs> Tugging on my mother's apron strings. <laughs> Tell me, mother. Has it come? <laughs> from, from the look on her face, I would say. It had come. <laughs> As she 
climbs down from the top of the dishwasher. She opened the door and showed me her rack. Those two big cups on her rack. I need to never lather my hands in the name of dishwashing again. I can just cram them all into my special new box. And that's what you'll be eating your dinner off of for the rest of your time in this house. My mother never cried again after that. And then it goes on to some other things anyway, that's what I'm going to say. That is remarkable. Yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I can't wait to read it myself. Um, now, um, before I let you go, um, you are working on a new title of a new book. Would you, would you like to share that with me? I, uh, I absolutely would, yes. What's, uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll think, uh, just pass me that time. <laughs> Yes, the title of my next book will be Back Sack and Crack. What's that about? It is about my return to my job as a Santa Claus whilst addicted to crystal cocaine. <laughs> Professor, I'm in the family life. Yes, you are. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Mitchell.